Hello, Schmodown faithful. I am your commissioner, Clark Wolf. I hope you are all enjoying the spectacular. This has been a tough year to say the least, uh, but we wanted to thank you for proving once again to be the great fan base that we know you are. We didn't have any live events this year. We didn't have any studio matches, but we had you. You are with us for all of the tournaments and turns we had along the way. We also wanted to thank the competitors. They stepped up and went above and beyond. Teams, singles, IG, and Star Wars. So I'll be honest, Star Wars is not the category I know the most about, but I was on the edge of my seat for these matches and the Star Wars competitors showed us just how intense digital schmodown matches could be. And one of those competitors is the hunter, Andrew DiMalanta. Hi, Andrew, welcome. Thanks for having me. So Andrew, you had a great run today. You battled a really, really tough match. Should and it have been me. It should have been me. Excuse me? I, I should be competing against Alex in spectacular, to be honest. Ace got lucky in our match. It was such a fluke that he beat me. Honestly, if I was going up against Alex at spectacular, I would beat him. I would be him. It's such, it's, it's a joke. Right, uh, right, right. But weren't you awarded a title shot even though you lost in the finale of the tournament? Yeah, I didn't ask for it. But, you know, to be to be fair, honestly, I think the fans would have been want, like to see a triple threat between me and Alex and, and Damon. That would have been fun. I, I think I deserve it. I just, you know, that's that'd be fun, right? Okay. You know, Andrew, um, thank you for that feedback. I'm so glad that you said those words. The Triple threat. So if I may, Molly, Laura, welcome. Hello, Molly, Andrew. Hi guys. What, what, what's, what's going on? What, 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 what is this? Are you going to make me compete against these two in a triple threat? I already got a title this, shot. Do you this is, this is me acknowledging who I believe was the best in the tournament. Now, I know that Christian already gave you a title match, so the league will honor that. However, Molly, Laura, what you all did in this tournament was exceptional. Next season, you two will play each other in a number one contender match. And we will give Alex Damon the opportunity to defend his title against Demolanta, and then one of you would get the winner. Or, if Alex chooses to, he can defend the title in a triple threat against the winner of you two and Demolanta. Whoa, 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 no. What, what, we, what is this? What is this? What, this is not fun. It's not fair. What, what, what is this? What's wrong, Andrew? Are you not ready to face me again? Uh, the, I mean, that's not set in stone, Laura. You have to play me first. <laughs> oh, 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 Molly, that's adorable. Uh, but you and I both know that this title is mine. Andres clearly proved his win against me was a fluke, and Andrew already beat you, Molly. Oh, and Andrew, did you end up just watching the Clone Wars on repeat every day since October? I mean, I can't hear you over <laughs> one win in the tournament, Laura, or either you do one. I missed one question. Answering the entire tournament. Okay, okay, just, all right, right. That's, that's enough. Thank you. So there you have it. Next season, Molly will face Laura Kelly in a number one contender match. Alex Damon will decide if he wants to face DeMolanta alone or defend in a triple threat. I'll see you next season. And welcome back, movie trivia Schmodown fans. And once again, congratulations to Alex, Damon, and the rock stars for the big victory there. But rock stars they ain't done yet not by a long shot mark no they are not christian because right now roxy stryer goes from one champion to the champion that would be chris jericho looking to avenge his loss to kevin smith earlier this season but boy does he have a foe in store for him 
in the guise of Brittany Young. So you talk about the world of wrestling clashing, Christian. Now, sure, Chris Jericho has gone on to be a rock icon as well. But Brittany Young, look at what she's been able to do in the showdown. Look at how competitive she is. Look at how much movie knowledge she's displayed. Even though she suffered a tough loss to Jader Paramo earlier this year, I think Brittany Young has the goods. You know where you love her from Glow, but you also respect her for her work in the showdown. With Chris Jericho, he took Smith to the limit, beyond it actually. Four questions into sudden death is what it took Kevin Smith to fell Jericho. Will we get a similar tight battle here today? There's only one way to answer it, Christian, and that's to get this baby underway. I can't wait to get it underway because of exactly what you just said. Jericho, we know how competitive he is, and we know how competitive Brittany Young is. Not only does she have that great match in that glow match with Clark Wolf and how she kind of shined as a superstar there, and as you mentioned, the great match with Paramo. So what will this battle be like? We don't know. We do know that Jericho wants to get back to that Kevin Smith rematch. So this is a big thing for him here today to defeat Brittany Young. But I don't think Brittany Young and the Dungeon are going to make that easy. But we're going to see how we got here right now super excited you came in and talked to us for this long i'm just ready for my schmodown invite oh my god are you kidding tomorrow champion of his industry and now a certified rock god going up against director producer actor mr kevin smith taking on chris jericho kevin I will come back only if uh, Roxy's my manager. I'm team. I'm team rock stars for life. Hundred out of hundred times, baby. Hi, movie trivia showdown fans. When I announced that Chris Jericho was coming to the rock stars, you all thought it was some novelty draft. You thought there's no way he's ever actually going to play. She's just signing him to have a big name on the rock stars. But of course, as you guys usually are, you were wrong. So it was only a few months ago, one of the biggest travesties in Schmodown history took place. Once again, how am I on Schmodown movie trivia versus Kevin Smith? And the topic is Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith had the audacity to put his own name on the wheel. I mean, who does that? It's not gonna happen again. Brittany Young, I will not go 0-2. Brittany Sherry Brittany, the Cherry Bomb Young, is the most dynamic, most electrifying professional wrestler competing in the movie trivia showdown today. Brittany brings, it's like a sunshine. I don't know how to explain it. A glow. That's a good word, Jen. Glow. Hey, showdown fans. It's your girl, Brittany Young, from the dungeon. I am so glad to be back here at showdown for my next match in the spectacular against my man, Chris Jericho. The guy's nickname is Le Champion which I believe is Canadian for turnbuckle head. Once he puts his mind to something, he doesn't stop until he's the champion. And the fact that Kevin Smith doesn't want to play him again shows you that he's really afraid. And I guarantee you that match round two will be happening at some point. I am the uncrowned king of the Schmodown. If I can almost beat Kevin Smith, Brittany, imagine what I can do to you. I'm sure you guys probably want me to trash talk, you know, but I'm not into trash talking. Just want to come out here, have a good time, casually drop that I graduated from USC film school, didn't play sports growing up because I was watching TV all the time. Really just here for the positive vibes and to show Chris what it's like to be in the dungeon. He is the greatest of all time. Brittany Young, I'm sorry, honey. You're just collateral damage because we got to make our way through you. And Kaiser, nice of you to show up. I kind of forgot that you even managed in the movie Trivia Schmodown anymore. I mean, where have you been? You're talking about my SAT scores? You're not wrong. But when it comes to managing in the movie trivia showdown, I'm the guy that has his players ready. And that's why Brittany, the Cherry Bomb Young, is going to blow up the walls of Jericho today. Please help me, because I have to win, or else Roxy will not let me eat my dinner. I'm hungry. Get ready! Look, Mark, and as we as we see, you know, this is a big one for Roxy as she is making a play for manager of the year. Kaiser wants to go out. He didn't have a great season this year, so he wants to go out with the victory. This is the last match we're going to see of Kaiser in the dungeon before we head into season eight. So this is a big one. 
Yeah, I mean, it's almost like a team that knows that they're not going to be in the playoffs, but you still want to give your fan base a little bit of momentum going into the offseason and then season eight, like you said, right around the corner. And so without further ado, I think it's time to get Roxy Stryer in here and to get her opponent, Kaiser. So, Christian, where do you want to begin with these two characters? Well, I'm going to start with Roxy. because Ro coffee's cold. It's bad enough you give me Maxwell House. All right, Kaiser, take it easy for the So, Roxy, Thank Roxy. Thank you for that, Kaiser. Brilliant for Well, I gave Brandon Hanna a job in the kitchen in the dungeon. You know, he lost his manager job. Uh, I figured I'd help the kid out. That's not Brandon Hanna. Stop that. So, Roxy Stryer, you're coming off a massive win here in the Star Wars division. You have a kind of a pep in your step, if you will, a brilliant second half of the season. And now Chris Jericho <clears throat> goes up against Brittany Young. How is Le Champion doing preparing for this match? He's doing incredibly. I mean, I do. I am curious how much I owe you and Mark and Rent because I basically live here now. I mean, Spectacular is mine. Uh, I'm here all day, every day. So Jericho is just going to be another victory for the rock stars today. He is incredible. He's watching movies left and right. He's got the knowledge and he really doesn't like to lose. And we already lost once and I don't think he's going to let it happen again. Yeah. Kaiser, there's going to be some trash talk here, not only between you and Roxy, but also Chris and Brittany Young. So do you have to talk to Brittany about taking those bars from Jericho, or do you think that she is able to return fire just fine? You know, for being one of the living legends of pro wrestling, Chris Jericho certainly has zero sense when it comes to selecting managers. I mean, Roxy Stride has never won anything in her life, except maybe the hearts and minds of some of the dumbest fans in the movie Trivia Schmodown. Now, back in 1981, Chris Jericho was my favorite wrestler, right up there with Dirty Dick Slater, coming in at a, at a close second. So, you know, I still want to honor Chris in some way. So at first I thought, well, I'll, maybe I'll sing the Canadian National Anthem. I'll, I'll break into some O Canada, right? But nobody wants to hear that song, not even at the Olympics. So I think I'll just celebrate the fact that Britney's gonna tear down the walls of Jericho today and send him back to his moose lodge in Saskatchewan, wherever he lives. All right, well, fair Coming enough. after Canada, not a smart move before this match. And let me just quote every sports fan everywhere when I look at you and say, scoreboard, scoreboard. Roxy's never won anything. Where are you in the rankings right now, Kaiser? I'm sorry, but from up here, I just, I can't see you down there. Maybe wait for that time. Paperwork, Roxy, you know that. I like uh, Brittany a lot too, but I agree. She has some bad taste in management. Sorry, Brittany, look at me next season. We'll see what we can do. All right, well, the you knew that was going to happen between the two of them. Good luck to both of you, both Kaiser and Roxy. Roxy does have a point here, Mark. The rock stars are doing significantly better, but this is a, and I don't know if you want to piss Jericho off before you get into a match, but we are going to introduce both the competitors right now. Mark, are you ready? Oh, I am prepped for this. This is the one I've been waiting for, Kay. Have at it, Golden Throat. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Introducing first. Representing the dungeon with a record of zero wins, one defeat, Brittany Sherry Bomb Young. Hi guys. Brittany Young returns. Sherry Bomb is back at Brittany. We haven't seen you since the Jada Paramo match, and I know you were bummed about it, and I saw even in the intro, you were kind of shaking your head about it, knowing there were a couple ones that you had. So since that match, you and I heard you on, on backstage afterwards too, you wanted to come back, and now you do against Chris Jericho. How are you feeling coming into this match? I'm feeling good. I mean, honestly, Jada and my's match was so much fun. I had a blast, so even though I lost, I still came back because I got pride. I got the knowledge. I'm ready to go. So, Brittany, you're obviously well known for a variety of roles, not the least of which would be the beloved Glow. And I'm thinking during some measure of shooting, you and the cast got together and you watched some wrestlers and saw how they performed their moves. Did Chris Jericho's name ever come up on set? And if so, was it met with astound and praise or was it met with laughter? Um. 
It was met with a mixture of both, but I will say that's because we had the amazing Chavo Guerrero Jr. who told us all kinds of behind the scenes secret tidbits. Um, but no, we love Jericho over at Glow. He's had some of our girls on his podcast, so we appreciate him being a fan. And obviously we're a fan of his, so, you know, it's all love. It's all love. Well, Brittany, good luck to you. And I know that Kaiser, one last question for you. Kaiser and Roxy obviously have this thing. Do you take any of that going into because knowing their feud that you're trying to win an extra one here, or you just can't think about it and you've got to focus on Jericho? Um, I mean, I want to say I can't think about it, but I just was informed in you guys' intro that this is the last match for the dungeon this season. So, you know, trying to throw that off my shoulders and just have a good time. Well, good luck to you, Brittany. We'll see you just Thank a moment. You. And her opponent, representing the Rockstars, with a record of zero wins, one defeat. He is the champion, the demo god, Chris Jericho! I'm sitting here for over 10 minutes listening to all of this crap and talking and blah, 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 blah. I mean, Kaiser's promo was terrible. He read it off a teleprompter. As Sturgis said, he looked like he filmed it from a Circle K bathroom. Terrible stuff. Thank goodness Brittany Young is here, the only person with class in this entire show. Next time, you put me on first next time. You understand me? I don't need to sit here for nine minutes listening to Christian Harloff and Scott McGee, whatever the f his name is, talking all this stuff, man. Jeez Louise, you got the champion here. Put me on. You want ratings? You want, uh, you want people to watch the show? Put me on first. Our apologies, our apologies to the demo god, of course, and we not not mean to step on any toes here as we we are getting we're excited to have you back, Chris. Real quick, uh, I know that how much I know how competitive you are. I know how that match against uh, Smith, you had made it very clear that the Kevin Smith category, Terrible. I know, shouldn't have been on the wheel, but nonetheless, you the what sudden a fix, what a fix it, that was. Well, there it is was, no, it was a rigged version <laughs> of uh, Schmodown. A rigged schmodown. I'm taking this to the Supreme Court. You haven't heard the last of this yet. Fair enough. Well, uh, there unfortunately no recounts left in that particular match, but you have a whole new day here against Brittany Young. So how do you prepare against a competitor like Brittany well, Young? Well, my amazing manager, Roxy uh, Stryer, has been giving me lots of pointers. Uh, we're watching a lot of movies uh, via StreamYard and Zoom. She kind of does the, the John Madden thing where we pause it, rewind it. She has a thing that draws on the screen so you can see like the different looks and, and lines and faces and special effects. So I feel quite prepared. Um, I did a lot of studying for the, I'm sure the inevitable Brittany Young category that you're going to stick up there like you did last time with the Kevin Smith category. So I know all about her. I'm ready. I'm probably more ready now than for anything I've ever been involved with in my entire life. You know, you're a real tough guy behind that Zoom. I, I really wish this was actually live. Uh, first of all, it's StreamYard, so get it right, buddy. I thought, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not good with technology. Exactly. We got Brandon Hanna to figure that out. You know, you and I are actually more alike than you think, okay? Oh, completely. We both love <laughs> heavy metal music. Right. We both have eccentric pets. You've got a platypus, I've got a pig. Yep. And like Ric Flair said, we both got houses on the big side of town, so we're not all that different. No, we, I'm actually, the first thing I noticed was that you also have some rock and roll records behind you, as do I. So there you go. We right. actually have some uh, decor here, not just a bare empty wall. So that does put us on the same plane. And I'm not here to fight with anybody. I'm here to win. That's what I do. All well, right. Good luck. It's going to be, It's listen, I hope I hope Harloff didn't put you up at the Motel 6 like he normally does. The guy's got zero clock. No, thank you for that. Yeah, I got the Motel 5. It's one yeah. worse. I gave you the yeah. fire. All right. So Chris, bring him back. Be careful that right. button. Yeah. All right. Well, Brittany Young is back. Chris Jericho has arrived. Mark, both of our competitors have entered the virtual battlefield. Give us the rules of round number one. Round number one works as thus. The field of competition will hear eight questions from eight different corners of movie, trivia, schmodown, know-how. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question, and there is no stealing, at least not in round number one. As soon as we ask the question, each competitor has 15 seconds to write down their best attempt at an answer with whatever parchment you have handy on whatever utensil you prefer. 
Once we ask you by name or nickname, please show what you wrote to your camera at the same time you verbalize your attempt into the microphone. I remind each competitor, if you need to repeat the question, you want to buy yourself another 15 seconds at any point throughout the match, you have three JTE rules to do that. JTE rules, not originally named for one of our competitors today, but if they co-opt it, who are we to judge? You also each have one challenge to be utilized at any point throughout the three round match should you deem fit. You can simply say challenge, we'll bring in your manager, you talk it over, they'll confirm and ratify that said challenge is taking place. Christian, I think we're about ready to get going. Look at the focus on these faces. All right, so we start with Brittany, are you ready? Thank you for asking, I am ready. Chris, are you ready? Uh, I am ready. Then let's get ready to Schmodown. Round number one, question number one in the realm of action adventure. Which actor plays the title character in the 1979 film Mad Max? Here we go, Christian. Looks like Chris Jericho was powering up before the match. You're an ACDC. Good call. Great album. Five. It is. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. And we start with Brittany. Mel Gibson? Yes, Chris. I got to write bigger, but Mel. And Mel Gibson. I can, see it. I can see it. One, one. All right, next question, Mark. As long as we can see it, it's fine. Your next category is in the world of the 1980s. 80s movies. And your okay. question, what 1980s family film features such characters as Chunk, Mouth, Data, and Sloth. Is there not a dress code on Schmodown? We, we actually require shirts, so I'm happy that Chris wore some garb. But you guys are just showing a lot four, of skin three, with the V and the... Three, two, <laughs> one. Pens down, please. Pens down, please. And we start with Jericho on this one. Goonies. Yes. And Brittany. My favorite movie, The Goonies. Oh, right on. There it is. All right. Question three. Question three. All right. This is in the realm of dramas. Kurt Russell plays the character of John Ruth, also known as the Hangman, in what 2015 Quentin Tarantino film? I, I believe it's pronounced Hangman, Christian. How do you say that? Well, you say Bo uh, Boba Fett, so get, give me a break, yeah. will you? I'm from the South. That's how his name is pronounced down there. Me too. Five. People in the South know how it's pronounced. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please, starting with Brittany. The Hateful Eight? Yes, Chris Jericho. Hateful Eight. Yep, all right. So we see ourselves now with a score of 3-3 as we get into our fourth question mark. Neither competitor has blinked yet, Chris, and that's not just because I'm showing all of my chest. Your next category, the world of romantic comedies, or as I call them, rom-coms. Which actor plays Pat Solitano Sr., the father of Bradley Cooper's character in Silver Linings Playbook. Intense. Popular movie review for us. Yeah, an intense battle right now between the two. They're locked in. They're focused. They want this. They are. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Pence down, please. And Chris. I didn't get it. <clears throat> Jeff Bridges. That is incorrect. Brittany. Robert De Niro. Yes, that is correct. Brittany goes up by one. Brittany going up by one as we get to our next question, and that's uh, fantasy sci-fi. Thanks, Chunk. <laughs> fantasy sci-fi. What 1980s sci-fi film involves synthetic beings called replicants? Oh, boy, this one. Jericho with the speed of an Eddie Van Halen. Brittany Young playing it like slow hand Eric Clapton. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, pens down, hands up, pens down, hands up. And we start with Brittany. Demolition Man. That's incorrect, Chris Jericho. Oh. That is correct. Blade Runner it is. So Chris Jericho ties it back up here as we get to a score of 4-4 four, four, getting into our next question. Hello, everybody. I know that you're enjoying the matches, uh, and you should because they're great matches. And I got something else 
great for you. Hello Fresh. I mean, you know, what is that? What's Hello Fresh? I'll tell you. Hello Fresh. You get fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes and they're delivered right to your door. It lets you skip those trips to the grocery store and it makes home cooking easy and fun and it's affordable. That's why I love it, I'll be honest with you. And that's why it is America's number one meal kit. Here's the thing about HelloFresh that I love. You can cut down on grocery bills and food waste. What HelloFresh does is they deliver pre-portioned ingredients so you're not overbuying it, which is a burden on the planet and your wallet. HelloFresh's Easy Eats offering has tons of quick and easy meal solutions like oven ready and 10 to 20 minute meals. It's perfect for your busy schedule and you get to choose. So I was like, oh, and I'm a big, I'm, I'm, I'm over, I, I'm over eating chicken and they have so many chicken options. So I'm just eating so many different chicken meals and I love HelloFresh for because it's good. It's, it's, it's delicious chicken. It's delicious meats. So I, I'm loving what I'm getting at HelloFresh. You're going to go to HelloFresh.com slash S-E-N-10. And you use the code S-E-N-10 for 10 free meals, including free shipping. Did you hear what I just said to you? I said, you go to HelloFresh.com, S-E-N-10, and you get 10 free meals, including free shipping. I love it. I cannot tell you how much I love it. I love the uh, everything about this company. And this is America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh. Do it. Start your year off right. 2021 is right around the corner, and you want to do it by eating healthy. You want to do it by saving money, and you want to do it by getting HelloFresh. Go and do that. Use that code. Finish this match, and then wait around and have a nice sandwich. Do it. 4-4, it's a good match on the stream. Behind the scenes, Christian should never be allowed to use a phone while competing or announcing. Your next category is comedy. <laughs> what comedies? Nice plays wealthy party animal Al Chervik in the 1980 classic Caddyshack. What comedian? Christian, we're asking some good questions about some I like great clicks questions. here. I'm liking yeah. it. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Chris. Where do you get a jacket like that, Farkas? Did you get a free bowl of soup with that jacket? Looks right. good on you, though. <laughs> well done, Ronnie Dangerfield. It is, and Brittany. Chevy Chase. Oh, Jericho takes the lead here. Big oh. point by Jericho. Five four. Jericho sees himself up now. One point as we get to our next question: horror thriller. Horror thriller. Which thriller from director Martin Scorsese follows a U.S. marshal whose investigation leads him to a hospital for the criminally insane? Ooh. Mm, and Christian to reference Caddyshack. I'm happy to be the Wang to Chris Jericho's Al any day of the week. Guys, we just got a package at my house. I hope it's something good. Nice. What could it be? Congrats. Five, four, probably chocolate. Three. Send it to me. Two. It's what? Christmas. One. Pens down, please. And we start with Brittany. Shutter Island. Yes. And Chris. Damn it. I couldn't remember. I just said something island, so. Oh, so so we get tied Why up. Why are we going back and forth? This is not how it works. Back and forth we go. It is a tie Damn game. Damn it, it was on my tongue. Isn't so last question. It's our last question here. And to tie it up or to go in the lead. Here we go, Mark. What do we got? It is the category of animated films. Could be classic movies. Could be drawn on a computer. Here is the question. Which classic Disney film was based on a novel by Felix Salton? which follows the life of a young deer growing up in the forest. As opposed to the young deers who grow up in an urban environment. Well, these days, with some of these movies, you never know. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Hands up. And we start with Brittany. R.I.P. Bambi's mom, Bambi. Yes, Chris. Uh, yeah, same thing, Bambi. All right. So now we have a 6-6 six, six score going into round number two. What a battle it is so far. And Mark, round number two, the rules. How do they go? Deadlocked at the top, Christian. Brittany Young succeeding despite her manager, Kaiser. Chris Jericho inspired by his manager, Roxy. Round number two, each competitor gets a spin at the wheel. You just spin it with your mind. It is the digital lawnmower man age in which we live. Once you settle on a category, you get four questions. These questions are asked to you and only you. 
Each question is worth two points. However, stealing is available. So if you miss the question, your opponent can steal it. If you want to avoid that, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which we think is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes from two points down to one, but it does at least prevent your opponent possibly from stealing two points. So Christian, it's deadlocked at the top, and as much as Chris Jericho did not like being introduced second, that does mean that he has the choice if he would like to spin the wheel first or defer to his opponent, Brittany Young. So for that decision, Chris, you and Roxy Stryer have 60 seconds to determine said conundrum. First of all, hi, Chris, you're doing an amazing job. This Thank is awesome. you, thanks, Chunk. Yeah. Oh, you got it all day, best nickname ever. How are you feeling? Do you feel like you want to spin first or second? I have some opinions if you want it. Well, yeah, that's why you're here. What, what's I feel your like, I think that it'd be better for us to spin first because then just in case she ends up spinning opponent's choice, we'll be able to give her anything that we want to give her and it won't take it off the wheel for you. So I think that we should go first. I'm feeling confident right now. You've got some uh, momentum in your in your corner too. So I think we spin first. I always listen to my manager. We will go first. Hopefully she doesn't steer you wrong. Let's do it. You got this, babe. Don't forget JTE rules if you need them to repeat the question. Um, that right. way you get more time. You got that. So you've got three of those in the whole game. Yeah. Also, multiple you. choice if you need it. Let's spin this wheel, see what we get. And for the and we have changed it for this match only. It will be called uh, the Jericho's totally excellent as That's yeah. right. That's just like last time. I remember that, eh? We, we put that in the rider that we wouldn't play if that wasn't the that's case. Exactly. So that's, that's, that's a good point, yeah. Obligated right. to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember. Trust me. All right, here is the uh, spin. Here it is. I didn't get those only orange fiddles, though, so that was kind of weird. Round and round it goes. Opponent's and choice and looming. Lands on famous actors and actresses. 60 seconds to decide. How do you feel about this, Chris? Do you want to respin? It's a pretty broad category, but um, I just want to know how you're feeling. Um, let me respin just for the hell of it, because I'm cool with pretty much all the categories. Yeah, I agree. I so agree. Let me do, let me do a respin, please. Perfect. Let's respin it. No matter what it is, you've got this. I got Let's it. Game, if you need to go to multiple choice for that one point, do that, because remember, she can steal. So you right. Have That's point. right. I remember yep. that. Thank you. Yep. And we're gonna find out right now. We get to dramas. Great, so, you got this. Let's go. All right, dramas it is. Drama. Oops, sorry, dramas it is. And now we are going to bring in Brittany. And we start here. Chris, you're gonna have four questions in the realm of dramas. You have all your JTEs left. And here we go. All right. Who stars as the explorer Percy Fawcett in the biographical drama film The Lost City of Z. Um, if I don't know it, can yeah, I go to multiple choice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Multiple choice. All right. Is it A, Robert Pattinson, B, Rami Malek, C, Jeremy Renner, D, Charlie Hunnam? I'm going to say um, Rami Malik. That is incorrect. Brittany, for the steal, you're going to get the question first and the options. Who stars as explorer Percy Fawcett in the biographical drama film The Lost City of Z? Is it A, Robert Pattinson, B, Rami Malik, C, Jeremy Renner, D, Charlie Hunnam? D, Charlie Hunnam. Correct for one point. Big steal big, there. I've never even heard of that stupid movie. Here's the second And question. I hate Charlie Hunnam. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Brittany. It's Here's okay. It's okay. All right. Al Pacino plays Lieutenant uh, Colonel Frank Slade, who has what disability in 1992's Scent of a Woman? He's blind. Two points. All right. Here you go. Next one. Good moves. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Chris, really celebrating a blind guy. Where's Sturger? She's on this thing. When is she coming up? She'll be doing the post interviews. Oh, okay. Uh, who stars as painter Margaret Keene in Tim Burton's Big Eyes? I don't know. Helena Bonham Carter. That is incorrect for a two point steal here, Brittany. Who stars as painter Margaret Keene in Tim Burton's Big Eyes? Amy Adams. For two more points, big steal. Wow. Big steal. So, so we know that Brittany likes watching bad movies. <laughs> what are you doing? 
Oh, here. Oh. You're about to make me show my sweatpants on TV, Chris. Come on. <laughs> I got my sweatpants. I got my sweatpants on. We're having a dance party later. You guys are. We are, party. whether you like it or not. I'm down. All right, here's the four. Here's the last question. Nice, what Mark. What 1991 film stars Kathy Bates and Jessica Tandy and tells parallel stories about Alabama women during two different time periods? All right. For f sakes, do I look like the type of guy that's going to watch a Jessica Tandy movie? Give me multiple yeah. choice. All right. Is it a Steel Magnolias? B, fried green tomatoes. C, a home of their own. D, used people. Fried green tomatoes. For one point. Boom! So, all right, so Young has and Jericho are tied now. Nine, nine. Nine, nine. Oh, As we now, we will remove Chris. We're going to bring in Kaiser, and you get 60 seconds. What did you brew this with, mud? I swear to God, the kid's 30 years old. You think he could figure out how to make a cup of coffee? Hannah! You can have him back, Alice. You can have him back. Brittany, you know what it you know we know what's going down here. It's you versus the questions. It's not you versus the lead singer of Skid Row. You clearly have a lot of knowledge. You're 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 the champion. He he's the champion in, in French Canadian or whatever language his parents spoke uh, before they moved to the United States. But you got this. I love you. Your game is getting better. Don't be afraid. Hey, you got all your JTEs. Don't be afraid to go to multiple choice. That buys you a little more time, right? Go get him, sis. Okay. All right, loser shaves his head match, right, Harloff? This is a loser shaves his head match. Uh, no, that was not. That was not in the rider. All right, here is the. Uh, here is the wheel. As Brittany now will have her spin. All right. Very good category. Good category. If you follow Christian on Instagram, he shaved his head. That's, that counts for something. Uh, it will be a respin. Dramas can, that does not count. And here is two spins left still. There we go. Hey, lots of good categories out there, Christian, but up <laughs> as well. And Tarantino. Tarantino. So you get uh, 60 seconds to decide. I mean... Yeah, let's respin it. The wheel right. on the bus goes round and round. Let's do it. Yeah, why right. not? So whatever Brittany gets here, she's got to take. And here we go. Note to all the fans watching, this wheel is not actually part of a bus. Well, now, Hannah, he was uh, he made coffee for the Shimoto. Oh, it's Spinner's hey. Choice. Spinner's yeah. Choice. Yeah. All right. So, Brittany, <laughs> you can choose 60 seconds deciding now. Kaiser, how's your day been? Man, I gotta tell you, I'm working on a, I'm working on a real, uh, real piece of trash show. Uh, I don't want to get into it right now, but uh, I'm you know, happy to be trash. here with. Listen, I'm happy to be here with you. I'm happy to be competing. It's our final match. The Dungeons had a great year. I mean, maybe not in the rankings, but everybody's getting better. We I know fun. you. I, I know you're getting better. I know you like this game. I know the Jader Palermo, whatever his name is, the Miami Muskrat. That's all in your rearview mirror. What do you like here? I know it's only two. There's two things you like. So what, what, what are you feeling better about? I'd love to go with Disney. All right, let's do it. Let's do let's it for do Bambi. It. Let's All do right. it for Bambi. Oh, Disney it is. Mom. All right, Disney it is. Going to remove Kaiser. And now we're going to get give him a spot. four questions in the realm of Disney films. Disney films. All right. right, Brittany Young looking to take a sizable lead into round number three. As bad as Brandon Hanna is at making coffee, that's how well Brittany Young has played thus far. See if she can continue the streak in the world of Disney films, Brittany, for two points. Who plays real-life composer Richard Sherman in 2013's Saving Mr. Banks? Can we go multiple choice? Yes, you can. You certainly may. Your four options for one point. Is it A, BJ Novak, B, Colin Farrell, C, Bradley Whitford, or D, Jason Schwartzman? Cool, cool. BJ Novak. That is incorrect. So, uh, what? Chris, I'm going to repeat the question. Jason and Schwartzman. Gonna... I don't need to, Christian, because he knew it was Jason Schwartzman, and that is a huge really? deal. You thought it was Thanks. all going to be cartoons and bunnies and rainbows. And, I did. And animals that I did, parents at an un, 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 un early age, but no, Schwartzman yeah. would win. 
<laughs> All right, here's the next question. All right. Go over to Jericho's house for a double feature of fried green tomatoes and saving Mr. Banks. <laughs> I call the worst night of movie hell ever. You guys are all invited. Thank you. Uh, you. Uh, Brittany, we go back to you for a two-point question in the world of Disney. In Tangled, after being denied permission to leave her tower, what does Rapunzel ask her mother to get her for her 18th birthday? Oh. Can we go multiple choice? Certainly, your options for a point. Is it A, a hairbrush, B, paint, C, a gold thread, or D, a lantern? I'm gonna go with B, paint. B, paint is correct for a point, and now, Christian, Brittany Young edges even with Chris Jericho. All right, here's our next question, question three. <laughs> All right, your penultimate question in the world of Disney films. Brittany, for two points, who plays the lead role of Christopher Robin in 2018's Christopher Robin? I'm not going to chance it. Multiple choice. It's the okay. worst category okay. ever. <laughs> I was expecting the animated movies. <laughs> oh, we'll probably get there eventually. Is it A, Hugh Grant? B, Colin Firth, C, Ewan McGregor, or D, Colin Farrell? C, Ewan McGregor. That is correct, and Young vaults back into the lead by one with one question remaining. Brittany, to go into round number three with a possible three-point lead, here is your question. In 1955's Lady and the Tramp, what is the name of the restaurant where they eat that famous spaghetti? Cafe who gives a <laughs> I don't think it's that. Can I have multiple choice? Five. <laughs> yes. Four. All right. Your options. Is it A, Cafe who gives a <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I'm reading, <laughs> reading from the wrong set. Here we go. Brittany, your options for a point. Is it A, Bella Noche, B, Bacuzzi's, C, Alfredo's, or D, Tony's? I'm going to say A, Bella Noches. That is incorrect. And so now Chris Perico, who I do not believe is a huge fan of this question, is going to be presented with the question and the options again. So, Chris, here we go for a steal. In 1955's Lady and the Tramp, what is the name of the restaurant where they eat the spaghetti? Is it A, Bella Noche, B, Bacuzzi's, C, Alfredo's, or D, Tony's? They're eating spaghetti, so I'm going to say Alfredo's. It's a great guess. They're in the pasta family, but Christian, we were looking for Tony's. Tony. Yeah, you could have got Tony. That's right, Tony. All right, well, look, both, both having a struggle in the round number two, but we we'll see ourselves with Brittany Young with a one-point lead going into round number three. Disney didn't go exactly the way, but yet she still has a one-point lead as she gets into the final round. Hello, Movie Trivia Schmodown. How is everybody doing? Thank you for watching the match here today. And look, everybody has had to adjust to 2020. It's been a real uh, mind F, if you will, and it's, it's tough. And for everybody out there, you need stress relief that goes beyond just quick fixes. And you know what that is? That's Headspace. What is Headspace? Well, Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness, and it's in the form of guided meditations in an easy-to-use app. One of the only meditation apps advancing the field of mindfulness and meditation through clinically validated research. Whatever the situation is, Headspace really can make you feel better. If you're overwhelmed, Headspace has a three-minute SOS meditation for you. If you need some help falling asleep, 
Headspace has wind down sessions that members swear by. And for parents, which was helpful for me, Headspace even has morning meditations that you can do with your kids. Headspace's approach to mindfulness, it can reduce stress, it can improve sleep, it boasts focus, and it increases your overall sense of well-being. That was why, for me, that it worked out because, like I said, with the kids and trying to say, oh, this isn't normal for a lot of people. This is this new life that we have here in 2020. So a peace and calm, it works. So check it out. Go to Headspace. And it's backed by 25 published studies on its benefits. 600,000 five-star reviews and over 60 million downloads. Headspace makes it easy for you to build a life-changing meditation practice with mindfulness that works for you on your schedule anytime, anywhere. Here's the bottom line. You deserve to be happier. And Headspace is meditation made simple. You go to headspace.com slash the schmodown. Headspace.com slash the schmodown for a free one month trial. It's free. Try it for a month. See if you like it. Headspace.com slash the schmodown for a free one month trial with access to Headspace's full library for meditations on every situation. It's the best deal offered right now, but you got to head over to headspace.com slash the schmodown and do it today. You're going to thank me for it. One month free. Go. All right, Mark, round number three. How's it go? Round number three. This is the round that will determine the match, unless we go to sudden death overtime, which I'm being told is still mathematically possible. So what we need from each competitor are three numbers. These integers may range from 1 to 20. Each numeral corresponds to a different category of movie trivia schmodown goodness. Your first question is worth two points. Your next one's worth three points. Your final query is worth five of the biggest points of your spectacular. Keep in mind, there is no penalty for missing a question, and there is no stealing in round number three. And Brittany Young, because you enjoy a one-point lead over Chris Jericho, who is aptly right below you on this stream, you get to give us your three numbers first. From one to 20, what feels lucky? Um, let's go with two, four, seven. Two, four, and seven for Young and for Chris. Crap numbers. I'm going uh, 18, 17, mm -hmm. and 14. Sexy numbers. That's what I'm talking uh, I, I challenge, since he's not American, he has to say those numbers in French. Uh, no, that's that's a uh, challenge. Mon, yeah. Mange la mer. Google it. How's your coffee doing, Kaiser? Can you bring me my heart pills, Hannah? This is a tight one. I don't even want to guess who that is. All right, so let's uh, <laughs> now we're going to have... We're going to have Kaiser talking to Brittany here for 60 seconds, starting now. Well, I just took a heart pill, so they're chewable. Um, how are you feeling, kid? I'm okay. I got to I gotta get the confidence down. I was feeling riding high, was, got the steel, got the good stuff, but now I just got to get back. Do that Usa thing that we studied last night, the thing that the, the Maharishi, what is, whatever is the video we watched on YouTube, just get zen with it. Mm -hmm. You got this. You're going to beat I'm this. I'm having a good time. Listen, he, got, he got beat by a guy who wears a, a, a raincoat to the beach. I mean, how good can he be? Let's go. You got this. All right. See? All right. Now we're going to get to Roxy. 60 seconds starting now. Uh, quickly, Rish Faron. You know what that is? Tell me. Wealthy pharaohs in French. Man, Just you saying. Are, you are smart. I'll give you that. You're a smart guy. Um, I don't understand a word that comes out of Kaiser's mouth, to be honest. Chris, this is your game to win, period. You've got this. Yes. Complete losing. We're not doing it again. We have three questions to get this in the bag. Um, just remember that if you need to repeat the question, you need a little more time. You have three JTE rules, so you can use those in case you need them. Um, keep in mind, it goes two, three, five. So if you've got the knowledge in your head, it will be there. Don't. If it doesn't come to you immediately, don't panic. Just let it come to you. Okay. Let it get All your JTEs, sis. All your I got JTEs. this, man. I got right. this. I know you do. Go. I know you do. Let's do this for the rock stars, baby. All right, Chris, you chose category 18. You chose remakes and reboots for your two pointer. Here it is. Oh, okay. Jeff Goldblum plays scientist Seth Brundle in what horror remake? The Fly. For two points, Chris Jericho takes the lead. So now we bounce to Brittany Young, who has her two pointer mark. That's right, and conveniently enough, Christian, she selected number two for that two-pointer. And here we go, Brittany, you selected the category of crime movies. Okay. 
And for two points, and to reclaim the lead. Who stars as Debbie Ocean in Ocean's 8? Sandra Bullock. Christian, Brittany Young, just like the stream would indicate, back on top. <laughs> I love you, Chris. I love you, Chris. They are bouncing back. That's good. I wouldn't have got that one. I wouldn't have got that one. Okay, Bounce. that is a good movie. Watch it. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. They are bouncing back and forth here. And here is, Chris, your next category. You chose category 17 in the realm of horror movies. Yes! Horror movies. What? Right. Who plays horror film fanatic? Randy Meeks in the Scream franchise. Jamie, what is his name? Weird. Jamie Scargenstein, Megan. Jamie, Jamie Kennedy. Wow. Correct for three points. Jericho <laughs> with the pull. Wow, oh, Jericho, big pull there and sends it back to Brittany now. It is 15-13. Bouncing back and forth they go, and now Brittany Young has number four, Mark. Number four. That's right, Christian. Shades of Josh McCuga and Stacey Howard with that pull from Jericho. Very clutch in a big moment, but now Brittany Young, once again, three-point question on the table. She can take the lead if she answers this correctly. Brittany, you selected number four for your three-point question, and that's going to correspond to the world of movie quotes. And your question, again, to reclaim the lead. What holiday classic features the line, worse? How could things get any worse? Take a look around here, Ellen. We're at the threshold of hell. Five, four, Repeat Three. The First one. All right. In the category of movie quotes, what holiday classic features the line, worse? How could things get any worse? Take a look around here, Ellen. We're at the threshold of hell. And five, four, three. Christmas vacation. Christian, she did it. She pulled it. <laughs> Correct. She, she Three. Than Jamie Kennedy. She wow. got it. Wow. Damn it. So, it. Sixteen, fifteen. What a pull by Young. What a pull by Jericho. And we get to our five pointer. Here is our five pointer. Now, if Chris Jericho hits it, he bounces it back to Brittany. However, if he misses, then Brittany Young will win the match. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. All right. Here we go, Chris. Are you ready for your five-pointer? Yes. All right. Which early? Yeah, is it? Uh, sorry, sorry. Disaster films. Disaster films. This is for disaster films. Here you go. Okay. Which early 2000s disaster film features such actors as Aaron Eckhart, Delroy Lindo, Bruce Greenwood, and Richard Jenkins? Five. JTE. And the J stands for Jericho. First one. Here it is. What, which early 2000s disaster film features such actors as Aaron Eckhart, Delroy Lindo, Bruce Greenwood, and Richard Jenkins? I'm going to say Armageddon. And you're! was the core the core was the answer the core and Brittany Young 
defeats Le Champion Chris Jericho in what a match it was because bouncing back and forth, here they are. And now Jen Sturger will take the interview here with Brittany and Kaiser. That was like Clash of the Champion 6, Ric Flair versus Ricky Steamboat. That was just a slugfest. I mean, Kaiser, honestly. you're obviously very, very excited. This is a little bit of redemption for the dungeon, I'm sure, for you, right? Well, yes. My, my whole life aspires to putting down and shaming Roxy Stryer. That's my goal in life. Wins are nice, but if I can put Roxy in her place, that's a good day at the office for me. I'm ecstatic. Look, Brittany has, is, a, is a fan of this game. She came in with a penchant for the game. She Once she got in that studio and saw what everybody was doing, she's like, I want to be here. I want to do this. I want matches. And I'm so happy for that the cherry bomb dropped today on Chris Jericho, who played a hell of a match. A hell of a match. That man can, I mean, he's not just some, you know, second-rate wrestler who, who found another career in, in trivia. He, he's, 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 he's great. And so, I mean, that was a hell of a match. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I mean, honestly, every time I say the F, F word, I, I receive a, 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 a penalty. Like, I got to turn over my check or whatever. I'm sure he's going to get away with it because Harloff is a shill for wrestling. Wrestlers. All right. Okay. Is that Anyways, the end of your back statement? To, back to Brittany. Brittany, congratulations on this match, obviously. You were a little taken back by some of those Disney questions in round two. Were you starting to get a little nervous? I was starting to get I was starting to get nervous, but Chris is right. In my mind, I was definitely thinking like Pinocchio, Beauty and the Beast. Like that's where my mind was going. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely that was so much fun. I mean you know, you never really want to come in here and be like blowing somebody out, but like the fun competition is what is exciting. But towards the end there, I was like, no, I'm in the same position again. Like I'm going to lose. And then I didn't. Does this give you a little bit of confidence, especially getting back into where you're 500 now? This is a good <laughs> cup of coffee. Thank you. I mean, finally got a good cup of coffee. I mean, yeah, it definitely does. I'm sad that this is the dungeon's last game for the season, but like, I definitely want to ride this going into hopefully next season, Christian have me back. Um, <laughs> it's really exciting. I mean, technically I'm two in one if we include my glow match, but I'm not gonna like, you know, asterisks on that one. Oh, I love it. I love it. Kaiser, you are gonna have some decisions to make obviously this off season. Does it look, does this match make you uh, think that you're going to keep Brittany next season? See, here's the thing. A lot of my players have been going out with wins and playing big matches. And even if they've lost, they've been losing close. Zip's been losing close. Video Drew just went perfect in her match. Brittany got a win. So everyone's going to be coming after the Dungeons players. That's the way it is. But listen, I know how to talk to these, these, these people. Like, you know, a lot of them, they just need to be sweet in the right way. So... You know, it's kind of like what I told Ben Bateman. Either you're with us or you're against us. So if you want to win, you want to be a winner, you want to come and get championships, you come to the dungeon. And I'll tell you what, not for nothing, Chris Jericho should know that Roxy won't be managing next year. She's selling her own line of candles. So if he's seeking management, tell him to page me. I know he still has a Sky pager. I cannot believe you have a pager still, Kaiser. Well, actually, I can. I can. Um, congratulations again today, Brittany and uh, Kaiser. Mm -hmm. Please give our best to Kevin Smuts. We love him, and we're just, you know, we're pulling for the guy. All right? All right, Mark. So, obviously, very, very happy is the Cherry Bomb, Brittany Young. And, of course, we want her back. Of course, we're going to have her back. She will be, if she doesn't sign with uh, Kaiser again, or they don't sign her, she'll be in the draft either way, or she'll sign with someone else. Either way, good to know that we're going to have the Cherry Bomb back. Great match. A lot of back and forth. A lot of fun both competitors had. And now we have Jen Sturger, who is with Roxy Stryer, Chris Jericho. Tough, tough loss today, Le Champion. I am so sorry. It's just like you you get so close and then it just kind of the wheels fall off at the end. How are you feeling right now? Um, well, it's it's kind of funny because you always go back and look through and had I gotten a Tarantino or had I not spun again and got drama movies, <laughs> things that might have turned out differently. If I'd ever seen or even heard of a movie called The Core, <laughs> and an actor called Richard Jenkins. Who the hell is that? He's forever on my on, on my list, so to speak. So um, do I like, I love playing the game. I don't like losing, especially with the great management of Roxy Stryer, I feel like I let her down. But um, you know what? We always have a good time. I was definitely the most entertaining. I don't know what the hell that Kaiser is talking about 
what a moron that guy is. Um, but other than that, I mean, you know, we, 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 we came very close, very close. Absolutely. Roxy, did you have something to add? Yeah, because Chris, you never let me down. I mean, for Kevin to beat you, he needed to have his own wheel slice on the wheel and hand it to you. <laughs> and for Brittany to beat you, she needed to spin Spinner's Choice and she still almost lost. And she just had a random pull. Those happen sometimes. I was so glad that you stuck in it. You were able to hold Jamie Kennedy's name, which was like, seemed so close and so far at the same time, but you ended up getting there. And honestly, I know it sucks to lose, but you're doing everything that it takes to be one of the greats right now, which is <laughs> like, hours. like, we just have to keep going. And honestly, it sucks. It sucks. But it, well, you didn't lose the game today because of you. It was because of the wheel. Every competitor has been there before. And I'm really proud of you. I'm going to come back with a vengeance. That Jamie Kennedy pull, though, I got to give it to you, Chris. That was impressive. I was trying to send it to you telepathically. <laughs> and I was do. like, yes. The one, it was only for one point, but the one that I didn't get was was I, the Shutter Island one. I just said island. That's another one. It was like, ah, oh, it's right in the tip of my tongue. But um, yeah, she pulled out that Christmas vacation. Had she not pulled that out, it would have gone differently. But um, it was a, it was a great matchup. You know, and, do you regret uh, spinning away from dramas? I no, mean, I spun away from it was, dramas. Yeah, I re, do you regret spinning away the first time two dramas? A, yeah, famous a actors and actresses yeah. probably would have been a little bit better than dramas, maybe. I don't um, know. It's a tough category because you never know where they're going to pull from. So. Right, right. And dramas, you've seen so many dramas. It just depends on the questions, Jen. You've seen this time yeah. again on the show, like. It just depends. And today, those dramas weren't your dramas. But that doesn't mean that another <laughs> round, you wouldn't go perfect in dramas. Roxy, you still have one match here tonight with the odd couple. How does this How does this loss impact that at all? Like, are you feeling nervous at all for that upcoming match? You know, prior to this, I kept a belt for Star Wars. Then there was this match. It didn't go how I wanted it to. But the upcoming match, we're here to play. We're here to win the belts. And there's no other option, Jen. So yeah. I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but I feel really confident in the odd couple. And I feel like we're going to take home that team's belt and we're going to do it with pride. And listen, Chris, you're not done here. We're not letting you leave the show <laughs> down. But I got to ask you, who do you want next? Do you still want that rematch with Kevin Smith? Absolutely. And it's funny that, that you're, I didn't know you were going to be on today. We've been talking about doing the down for, forever. So for forever. it's good that we finally did it. But yes, it's Kevin Smith, there needs to be a rematch with the Chris Jericho category on the wheel. I'm not gonna rest until that happens. Who the hell would do that? What a fix it was in from from the Harloff and his band of merry losers doing that. They didn't do it today, Brittany was great. Listen, Brittany's in Alaska. She hasn't seen her boyfriend in eight months. So she deserves the win. She needs it a lot more than I do. She did a great job. She's an awesome person. Smith, don't feel the same way. Smith, Smith, I've been in two movies that he directed. He was, he was a tyrant on set. I want revenge against Smith. Honestly, I'm feeling the same way. I'm ready to take him on. Kind of a jerk. Well, I don't know that about him. Well, I think I know someone that can make that match happen again. Sorry about the loss today, Chris and Roxy, but we'll see you again soon. Absolutely. Thanks, Jen. Bye, guys. All right. Thank you, Jen. Great to see that reunion there, man. And, and look, it's it's always happy. We're always happy to see two people who are really into it and just going back and forth. And the pull of Jamie Kennedy, the pull of Christmas Vacation. What a great match it was. And Cherry Bomb taking the victory here over Chris Jericho. Also happy to hear that Jericho is going to be back next season. He'll, of course, be in the draft unless, of course, Roxy Stryer decides to sign him as one of her three. The question is, will Chris Jericho play for anyone else besides Roxy Stryer? That we do not know, and we won't know that until we find out what happens in season eight. But, Mark, that's only match two out of six. We have a long way to go, and Roxy Stryer, she ain't done yet. No, she is not, Christian. That's all she wrote for Chris Jericho and Brittany Young in the Schmodown Spectacular Five with Young taking the victory 16 to 15 as much of a nail biter as they come. And now Roxy Stryers, the odd couple, will go up against Coy, Janders, Quirky Mercs, featured Shazam. It's going to be a good one, Christian. And all you folks at home, we'll be back in just a moment.